So almost every single day, uh, someone asks me, like, should I do this or this? Should I do this workout routine or this workout routine? Should I do this exercise or this, this exercise? Should I do this business model or this business model? So firstly, uh, if the decision is so hard to make, it probably doesn't really matter. Because if the choice was obvious, you wouldn't be asking me, right? So if you're trying to decide between two business models, and you can't decide, you are saying like they are the same, like then it doesn't really matter because if the two business models are like pretty much the same benefits and uh, downsides, like it doesn't really matter what I will choose because they are pretty much the same, right? So in these cases, when you can't really decide, uh, you should like, you can't decide by looking at all benefits and all downsides, like all benefits of getting it and all downsides of getting it and like comparing the things like, uh, throughoutly, even like overthinking some stuff and still it seems like you don't really know what to choose because they are almost the same in that case it probably doesn't even matter and you, sh you should just ask yourself does this you should just ask yourself does this even like matter if I can't really decide it's probably almost the same it can be so in this case just like uh, either choose what you prefer, like what you would do more consistently, because that's more important. Sometimes even choosing a business model that is worse objectively than the other one, you should do if you are going to be more consistent with the worse one. So you should definitely always try to find something that you will be consistent on, because most people will like try to optimize a workout routine and then they will stop working out after two weeks. No, don't do that. Like just even like saying, I will do this bullshit workout routine, but I love it, I will keep it up, you should go for it. Like, I would literally encourage people to say, like, I only love pull-ups, I will only do pull-ups for half a year, I, I would say, okay, like, it's not, obviously, it's not optimal, you are not training push muscles, you are not training your legs, you are not training your abs, so you are only, like, training your back and bicep and, like, uh, your grip strength, but... You only love pull-ups. You wouldn't work out anything if you didn't do pull-ups. So just doing pull-ups is great progress, right? So in these cases, when you can't really decide, uh, just go follow your gut. Or like if you still can flip a coin, it doesn't really matter. But for the other things where you are like asking me, should I do this workout routine or this? Like, uh, and there is a few differences. Just go for the one that is um, like more enjoyable to you because you will keep it up. Consistency is the most important thing. Me, I built a, a better body than 99% of people just by doing the exercises that I love. For example, I love pull-ups. I will do only, only pull-ups. Then I started loving, for example, dips. I uh, I started loving push-ups less. So I stopped doing push-ups. I only started doing dips. And then for leg day, I hate all exercises except Bulgarian squats. Okay? So I do only three exercises. I only do pull-ups, uh, dips, and uh, Bulgarian squats. Okay? And I still have a, an amazing physique because... It's only about consistency, actually, and genetics, obviously, but you can't really change your genetics, so focus on consistency. So if choosing one thing will make you consistent compared to the other thing, even though the other one might be better, choose the one that you are going to be consistent with. This is really, really important. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. See you tomorrow.